Good morning, good morning. Gee, it's great to stay up late. Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning. Welcome, welcome to Brie Collage with Pink Curly. Carol, the happy maker, says it's rainy where she is. She loves a rainy day. But it's beautiful here. It's a little breezy. But the sun is out. And I think we might have a warm day. Hubby was already out for a walk before it warms up too much. And yesterday I went and visited me mom. All right, we've got Teresa is here. And Carol, happy maker. Mrs. Gigi, hi. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Hi, Leah. And uh, as my sister and I were packing up to leave yesterday, my mom said something like, you're leaving me. And we said, well, we were going to come in and say goodbye. We're just getting our stuff together. She said, yeah, but you're leaving me. And I said, well, your only choice is to come home with me. And she said, okay. So I've got me mommy here. So hubby was going to try to set it up on the on the uh, TV so she could watch what we're up to this morning. Isn't that fun? <laughs> so I thought before I get started here on the main idea for my stream is, uh, gosh, it's been a little while ago now, and I was watching uh, Lisa, My Eclectic Life. Good morning, Janice. And she had a guest on with her, Diane Fago. I think Diane was years ago known as Packer Die on YouTube, but I think now she's Diane Fago Art, maybe? Hmm. It's hard keeping track of everybody's um, stage name. <laughs> Hi, Malia. Hey, Shaz, how you doing? Good morning. I'm doing very well, thank you. And so those girls, Lisa and Diane, were working out of these um, little journals. They had little chubby collage journals. It was just a small, this is like maybe a three by five size. They were just so darling. And the stuff they had in them, of course, those girls, those girls know how to collage, if you know what I mean. So, of course, I wanted to have something similar. So this is a little date book. You know, not date. No, not like a little, you know, like a calendar book. Calendar, not date, calendar. And of course, I bought it because it was, I think it's supposed to be moleskin and it was orange. So this is several years old and it was in my drawer. Couldn't, couldn't throw it away. You know how that goes, right? So I thought, well, this might be a little, a good little one to do some collage in like Lisa and Diane. So I had put this chicken in and this little row of, I don't know if you can tell what they are, like little hanging pots. This page was blank. Well, it was all blank. It just had those two things glued on it this morning. And I thought, well, let me fussy around with that. Because when I watched um, Made by Pam and she was doing a Timu haul, she had these chicken stickers now pam is a lover of stickers she's got all kinds of stickers i have stickers but i wouldn't call myself really a lover of stickers but i saw this one chicken sticker this one right here this little sassy one turning around and looking back at me I just figured there'd be dupes you know there'd be a couple but nope you get one sticker of every design there's 50 stickers in this pack on Timu. And there's a couple different chicken sticker packs I think you can get. So fortunately, I ordered the right one for this here little chicken. So I want to make sure I put it somewhere where I'll have it to remember. So this morning I decided I'm going to just fuss around with this page a little bit. So what I did was I took my Tim Holtz chicken wire stencil. Thank you, Becky McCauley, because I couldn't think of what that was called. 
And then this stuff just looks like, you know, dirt or something like, I don't know. So I just did that with two different colors of my oxides. I used thick raspberry and carved pumpkin. Guess what? Chicken pie. I don't think I remember that. So I probably am only going to put a couple on here. And I got out a couple of stamps. I don't want to go, you know, crazy with the chickens because this is a small page. This is a small page. Chicken thigh. All right. Chicken butt, chicken thigh. So I'm taking off the white around the edge. Because I think probably in most cases, I'm not a fan of that. So I thought I would just work on this a little bit while some of some of you have come on in. Was anybody at Murray's this morning? I popped in for a little bit real early and then quickly fell asleep. I don't know. I guess I had to. Uh, I needed a comfort break. So I was up around five. And Mary was coming on. So I did tune in for a little bit, but I didn't last too long. And then I wanted to make sure I got enough sleep because I knew I would be streaming this morning. So I miss most of the fun. I think it's time for pink girly to go get her eyes checked <clears throat> time for a new pair of eyes Malia said oh she's got that room to fill Malia says she's been watching a lot of craft room tours and wanted this one planner channel and she had an entire room of just no she did oh my Oh my word. A sticker mania. Are you getting some good ideas, Malia? For your room? That is a lot of stickers. I was thinking I probably need some words on this page too, but maybe I should put on what you just said. Guess what? Chicken butt. Because I got the chicken butt right there. <gasps> so Melissa says she's getting some good ideas. She's getting really anxious to get in there. The walls are going up. Nice. Is it a prefab um, room that you you bought that you can just, you know, put it together fairly easily? Hey, there's Barbie. Good morning, Barbie. Have you started your uh, Daphne's diary journal, Barbie? I've got one last one to decorate. Oh, I think I'm going to lose this guy's leg. Crafting House Kitty Jen. Hi, Kitty Jen. All right, I'm really trying to fussy cut around this boy's feet. It ain't easy. Welcome, welcome to everybody coming in. I wouldn't miss anybody. This is worse than cutting somebody's toenails. Okay. Just a few more little snippets. Okay, just a few, just a few. Now, before I forget, I will not be streaming on Sunday as it is Mother's Day. But I may do a, I might do an impromptu pop on 
on Saturday sometime. So I don't know about that. I can't be promising. Can't be promising that. But Kitty Jen says, I have a ton of stickers. So I decided to start a sticker. Oh, that's a good idea. A sticker glue book. Excellent. Excellent. I should have gotten even smaller scissors. Okay. Now. Here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. Now, I don't know about these stickers because I haven't used these before. I don't know if they've got, you know, pretty good stick to them. This is the guy I really like. I don't want to ruin him. Oh. Usually, I try to get a little pin in, in there. So Barbie says she's disassembled her Daphne's diary and she's trying to claim her uh, garage as a studio. And it's like a bomb went off in a Crayola. Ah, mm -hmm. that's how my, I feel like I make progress for a couple of days and then I have to either do a stream or, well, don't have to, but want to do a stream or a video and then it all just goes cattywankas and um. Back to square one. Okay. Now I'm going to put this little guy right here. Oh, I just love him. I absolutely love him. Barbie says, she's saying hi to Happy. Two tiny little stitches and I'm good to go. So embarrassing. Malay said she was obsessed with stickers as a kid. She had a ton and she, oh, traded with friends. I think my grands have quite a few. Of course, somebody keeps buying them more. Can't imagine who would do that. Okay, his legs are intact. I'm going to put him up there. All right, let me get rid of this stuff here. All right, so around the edge of my papers, as I usually, not usually, but a lot of times do, I put my distressed crayons around the edge. This time I just put some water on my finger and rubbed them around and and you know mushed them out and I think that turned out really a lot better than normal so then I got out my tulip stamp I thought it might be nice to have some tulips in the front of these fellers so we're gonna see how this looks how good of a stamp I need to put more ink and ink on this and then I've got out my itsy bitsy, I think that's what it's called, my little itsy bitsy spattery stamp. I'm going to put some of that on in addition to the stencil that I used. <clears throat> Here we go. Thank you, Jen. Now I'm going to make some of these here. Now I got the, you know, the ditch of the book. So this may not go so well here. I'm going to bring this up a little taller. I'll give these guys some tulips. Then I'm going to put some of my crayon out on my glass mat and use a brush and color some of these in. Some of these, some of these here tulips. I'm going to color them in. Oh, he's sniffing right in the tulip. Tiptoe through the tulips. Now, I know you were thinking it. With me. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, let's use some of the ganache and put some of this itty bitty, these little speckly things around their feet. I love this stamp. I love this stamp. Good morning, Gail. You see the little speckles? I love those little speckles. 
Now, I was also thinking with a little bit of my oxide here, gathered twigs. Let me grab a little brush here. I'm thinking I might want to put a little bit of a shadow. Me and my shadow. Boy, I'm off and running today. Just going to scrub some of that out on my mat and take a little bit of water on my brush. Let's see how this does. That may work okay. Just going to maybe put a little bit of some darker shading underneath this chicken. I'm hoping maybe he'll stand out a little more. Is there a question? If you have a question for me, certainly you can put it in caps, okay? And then I can see it more easily. I did buy the stickers at Timu, if that was the question, because I missed that. Angie, Angie, hi. She's not going to be. How did you make out yesterday, honey? Keisha will have an update tomorrow when she comes on. I'm just not talking. That's okay. That's okay. New time to recover. I was thinking about you all day yesterday, Angie. I didn't know what time you had to go or anything. All right. So I'm just adding a little shadow kind of around these little guys and hopefully it doesn't look like a pile of dust although you know they are in the chicken yard I've got chickens in the chicken yard Now, this guy, and I think really all of them, I'm going to try to just put a little bit of a line out this way to kind of make it, to ground them so they don't look like they're floating in air. Let's give this guy some under his feet. And then I'm going to use my... Distress crayons... Angie had a, some kind of a cyst or something on the back of her hand. And she had that taken care of yesterday like a good girl. She went to the, to the dock and, oh, this isn't the color I want, but I'm going to use it anyway. This is um, Distress Crayon Rustic Wilderness. It'll be okay. I'm just going to color in my tulips. And I'm going to do orange. And uh, hopefully shade with a little seedless preserves. And we'll see how that looks. Good morning, Sitcha Pam. All right. I'm kind of working around my drink jug here. Get my brush in water. And I'm just doing this real rough, real quick. This is just a little... Um, collage page in my little mini collage book inspired by Lisa, My Eclectic Life, and Diane Fago. I'm going to need some more of that. So yeah, you can scrub out these distress, distress crayons on a tile or glass mat, probably even a piece of tin foil. If you don't have the other things, just to scrub some out and then put your brush, a wet brush in it. You just use it like paint. Oh, can you see that okay? And of course, the more water you add, the lighter color value you would get, just like a paint. Hey, Sherry. Good morning. Good morning. Now I'm going to stick with the color theme that I've got going here with the orange. So I'm going to use some carved pumpkin. I have that in the distressed crayon. So that's what I'm going to use.
for my tulips. Just blocking in a little bit of color. And then I'm going to come back with uh, the seedless preserves and see if I can get a little shadowing going here. Now I had this page partially done. I had this sky rooster that I cut out of a magazine. Oh, I picked up some green on that one. Well, it's all right. I'm going to dry that real quick. It's in the heat too. And then I was thinking I would write something on these pages. And earlier, was it Janice? said the kids used to say guess what chicken butt I think I might put that on the page all right so I'm just going to try to shade these a little bit just so they're not totally flat get those back petals maybe a little bit at the bottom You know how sometimes we get tulips in there just different colors or they have a different color in the throat or on the tips. Put that there, just a little bit, just a little bit. Just a little bit. No, it's not a farm themed. It's just a collage themed book. I'll show you a little bit of what I got going on here. So what do you think? Let's have a vote. Should I put, <clears throat> guess what, chicken butt? Or should I leave it the way it is? This is just a little collage book because I saw Lisa, My Eclectic Life, and Diane Fago working in a small book. And of course, theirs were had a lot more pages done. So they were just big and chunky. So then I just started getting some Gil like sayings on pages. Okay. So I just started cutting out some smaller images that I liked and uh, putting them aside for this little book, which is just, um, you know, like a little planner that I had years ago. And um, be plucky. That's an idea. Here's a bug page with some tickets. Kitty Jen says to put this saying. Oh, I don't have a whole terrible lot done in here. So oh, that's part of what I have glued down. So see, it's just all different kinds of stuff. And then if I get something small that I like, I just pull this out. And um, ooh, I remember, see, I've got stuff stored here. I remember I thought originally I would just paint the pages orange. And then when I saw Lisa and Diane and their little book, I thought, no, no, I'm not going to do that. So instead of tearing these out, I just went with an orange thing. Not so crazy about that page. This was a watercolor um, smush thing I did on the gel plate. So I don't have a whole lot done. See, this is more like a, a Diane Fago kind of a look. Okay, Gail. All right, honey, you do what you need to do. Thanks for popping in. I appreciate it. Yeah, this is a sticker. I think it might be um, Diane Reeves, Reevesley or one of those gals, you know. I've got all the cool stuff. And it's like, um, it's like a canvas. I have more of them somewhere. But I thought she looked cool on the, for on the cover. So, yeah, this is just, you know, I just started this. Not too terribly long ago. There's another chicken one. So... I'm really not crazy about my writing, my, my handwriting skills. Let's see what do I have here. I don't know that I have. Um, one of the things I ordered from Timu was this little storage book, and this is where I've put some of my stickers. 
Well, most of them really, except for the ones that are in the, you know, the sticker books that you buy. But I just ordered a couple more of these because I've got die cuts in one of them. And um, I really like them. They've got a lot of pages and then I can just slip it on a shelf. So I'm, I'm very pleased with that purchase. Okay, let's see. What else? What do I have here to write with? Oh, that's white. I don't want white. Let's have a let's have a practice. Welcome to anyone that's come in that I may have missed, or maybe you're watching in the background. Oh, I spelled. See, good thing I practiced. I spelled it wrong. Oh, that's a good idea, too, Janice. Die cuts. Yeah, because I have mine. I don't have a lot of them. I just usually cut when I need, you know. I don't have, like, die cuts cut ahead for the most part. But they get all tangled up with each other if you don't. That's a great idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Malia said she bought some DT photo album, albums and did the same thing. See, great minds. Neat storage idea. Want to come and help me? Sure, Barbie. But then you got to come here. So I'm going to say, guess, guess what? Oh, I guess I don't need a question mark there. I just, I'll just put, guess what? Chicken butt. Oh, I don't know where am I going to fit it. Where am I going to fit it? Guess what? Chicken butt. I'm just doing an exclamation point. My G needs some help. It needs some help. I'll thicken that up a little bit. All right. So the title of my stream, I put Idea Journal Inspired by Calico Kate. And many of you here in the chat know Kathy. Uh, she goes by Kate or Kathy, and uh, she's got a channel, and she was doing her live on Tuesday, and then she showed us her idea journal. Now, I think she has several journals that she has made out of calendars, if I'm not mistaken. She Maybe she doesn't. Maybe she just has the one, but I think she's got more than one. And she folds a calendar in half and she makes journals. But she showed us her idea journal and it was so stinking cool. Hey, Kathy D. Good morning. And so I thought, yeah, I'll be having me one of them. I need to have me one of them. So a little while ago, I had purchased several. Um, calendars calendars.com maybe it was they had you know a sale and i was wanting some bigger things to cut up for collage uh, diane fago uh, recommended this one calendar that she had gotten years ago so of course Lori had to go looking for it so um i was able to find one by that fella rendo i think his name is joseph rendo something like that some french guy images are huge and they're beautiful so I got that calendar and then I showed you a, a like a vintage, not vintage, primitive um, country type calendar that uh, I want to make a journal out of, you know, and then I had gotten a couple of other ones. But when you looked at them, when I looked at them online, they were quite difficult to see the inside and whether or not they would really work for me as far as cutting them for collage. So I ordered one that was a hummingbird and it's this one it's a magazine it's a magazine it's a calendar by lang the lang calendars are absolutely beautiful and this the artwork is by a susan bordet bordet i'm not sure how you might pronounce that and while the images are beautiful for me it really didn't work for collage and i'll show you 
So I decided I'm going to use this one for my idea journal. Now it's, <sighs> you know, I'm a struggle. You know, I do have struggles with, uh, you know, a lot of different things, a lot of different things. And one of them is numbers. And um, I measured my calendar and I got out my big paper trimmer because I wanted to preserve the cover. And I thought, well, I can trim this off and use it and glue it back down. You know, it sounded like a great plan to me. Ah, oh, my dad used to say, measure twice, cut once. Well, Lori didn't measure twice. She cut once, but she cut it incorrectly. I measured the calendar this way, and that's how I cut. And I should have measured it uh, this way because I'm going to fold my pages. So you can see I've messed up my cover. And what I was trying to do is I want this on this calendar. They have a really nice eye eyelet. And I thought, oh, I want to tie something on there. I want something to be dangling out of there. Hmm. And if I folded it, it would be in towards the center. So right out of the gate, I messed it up. I don't think anybody here is surprised. Marty certainly would not be surprised. So she continues to struggle. But I'm going to make it work. So this is what I wanted for my cover. So rather than, you know, throw it out or whatever, I'm just going to glue this down when I'm ready. And this is going to be my cover. And when you make a mistake, I say make a pocket. Make a pocket. Make a pocket. So I'm going to glue that on the front because I want that little hole there on the front. I'm going to trim that off. And so when I'm ready to glue it on, I don't know that I'm ready to glue it on yet. I'm going to see how the rest of it goes. And then the back, of course, I cut the back too. Because the back was just, you know, so-so. I think I have another piece somewhere. Oh, that might be out on the kitchen counter. Well, I can get that later. I don't need to do that today. But see, I've got these extra little pieces that I can make pockets. Sorry, I just knocked Stewie over. So this is going to go on the front and be my front. Now I may make my front a little longer. I'm just going to see. So I think Kathy just folds hers in half and then just starts gluing stuff in for ideas, which I really haven't thought much past gluing, a uh, folding, gluing, and, you know, making my pages. So we'll just see how it goes. And then I thought about putting my um, score pal or whatever you call it here. Because you know what? I still haven't found my bone folder. I have two little ones that I really like, but they've been MIA for a couple of days. Oh, I should show you the images before I go ahead and mess them all up. So this was the first image. Let's see. Let me see the best way to do the best way to do this because it's big. Maybe like this. See, so I just for me, I just didn't, I just didn't think for me uh, cutting them out for collage was really going to work for what I was wanting to do. Beautiful images, though, for sure. Oh, Janice, that's a great idea. I even have a big one somewhere. I have one that was chipped. I finally threw that one out. And I don't know what I do with it. It's probably in by my, my comfy chair. Look at that one with the little, little hummingbird. Our neighbors planted two lilac bushes. And uh, my husband saw... A hummer on the lilac bush yesterday. So he just got our feeders ready. 
and put them out in our garden. Now I'm going to have to go back and watch Kathy's. Um, I'm pretty sure it was her last live, her Tuesday, Tuesday Tea Live, I think she calls it. And um, she was working on different stuff. I was chatting with my neighbor, so I missed some of it. Isn't this pretty with the oranges and the yellows? I've becoming a real fan of orange lately. So it wasn't a whole video of her showing her idea journal, but she showed it uh, part way. Oh, here it is, part way through the live. This is going to be the, that's going to be my back, my back cover. So I'm just going to fold these now. Kath left some of hers to tip in and tip out, so we'll see how that goes. So, for right now, to start, let's see, I've already got that crooked. Struggle, struggle, struggle. All right. See, and then when I put these in my, when I put this in my cutter, it was really just a little too, it was just a mess. I was so proud of myself. You know, I cut the piece, I flipped it over, and I'm like, what did you do? See, these are going to be pretty pages. There's that little guy. See, and then if I just leave them like this, I can write here. Um, I'm going to make some pockets, I think. Maybe make a divot here. Well, they might be hard to get into, right? What's another way I can do a pocket? If I do this, and then I could probably fold this up and do that kind of a pocket, huh? Or I could cut. Maybe I could cut a portion at the bottom and fold up and do a pocket. Okay, be thinking about that, guys. Let me know what you think. See if we can together come up with the best scenario. Kathy had all kinds of yummy, yummy things in hers. Good morning, Candy. How are you doing today? Ah. Jess said, I just got my parcel, so many things. Most fun is that I got enough points to get a mini airbrush. Wanted one for ages, so cheap. Oh, yeah, I have an airbrush I've been using in years. I always liked it, though. I always wanted to do more with it and learn how to do painting with it. Like, I painted with it, but I did base coating. Oh, Candy, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, I hope it starts clearing up for you. Good morning, Amber. Amber said, I could slip papers between the staples and put the pockets in that way. Hmm, I'm not sure if I'm understanding that boy isn't that cute i wonder if i should should turn some the other way see because i see i'm really loving this page maybe i'm going to turn this one i don't need to see that little fat guy that little fat hummingbird uh see if i can process what amber's trying to tell me I love the feel of it already. Of course, these are, hear that? Oh, 
Well, that still kind of goes with it. Hmm. This is another one that's really cute. If I go this way. See, I'm like going, I'm like going that way. So I've said this before, but not everybody here is just say say something the first time or whatever. But when I in years past would see calendars like in a Goodwill or a thrift shop that was for a year that's passed, I would say, why would anybody want to buy that? But see, now I wish I had picked them up. So, you know, if you don't have a calendar and you see something like even in the dollar store, you know, you can pick up some cute calendars these days. And they come in all different sizes. And of course, some of them are have that spiral top. Wouldn't that be nice? This one, I definitely want to go this way because I don't want the that writing. I'd rather have the calendar. So, now you can see here where I was over anxious and I tore this instead of waiting and cutting it. So I'm going to take that a rough spot off. All right, now, what I'm looking for, okay, so this one was, would work. I think what I want to do is I want to cut partially down, come across this way, and make a pocket. But I want the design, here, let me move up a little bit. I want the design to be here. Oh, you have plenty? Yeah, see, I don't always pick them up. That one would work, wouldn't it? Hmm. That would be cute, too. Okay. Now, of course, I don't have my... Um, hmm. I don't have my exacto knife here. I keep forgetting to grab my exacto knife. So I think I want to maybe trim this one. Let's see if I can do this without making it, you know, ugly and making it what I don't want it to be. I want it to be not ugly. I don't want to rip it and cut it incorrectly. So I found this little wheelie thing. At Goodwill, a Martha Stewart tool. It's a it's a rotary cutter, you would call it. It has some other stuff in it. One's not the rolling pin. I don't know what I would use that for. But anyway, this usually cuts pretty good. So I think I'm going to try. I'm going to attempt to cut down to... Um, that's a nice deep pocket. I've got my little tiny um, cutter board here. I'm going to get a ruler and hopefully keep that where I want it to be. And I'm going to run out of cutter. Let's see, it goes to there. Oh, no, 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 I should be good. All right, let's see if I can do this. It's hard to see that line for me because of the white. So we're going to go. We're going to rock and roll. If it's crooked, it's crooked. Ah, look at that for crooked. 
That's real crooked. Okay, let's go again. I have to concentrate better. I think I'm on the ruler. There's a metal blade on the ruler. I think that's what I'm wheeling on. Yeah, there we go. Okay. See, I'm not looking, I'm not looking up at right at the moment. I'm kind of trying to concentrate on my I could. Let's move the little mat down. Oh, fudge. And of course, this little floppy thing doesn't want to stay over. I should have clipped it. Wouldn't have that been a great idea. All right, so let's snip this. Snip that. There we go. All right, not terribly bad. Okay, trim that off. That's not too bad. It's a little, it's a little wonky up there. That's a little. Hey, Raul, how are you? Nice to see you. I've been seeing you in a little bit. You doing okay? All right, so let's close this up. Now I'm going to get my, I don't have my um, hole punch things uh, readily available, but I did keep out my whale's tail tab and I'm going to make a little divot here. Uh, that's probably going to be, you know, it looks okay. All right, so now I can store stuff in there. I'm going to make another another pocket or two. I think I'm going to do it. And I think I want to maybe do some um, gesso. So I moved my, I put some gesso in a little pot so it's e more easily accessible. Any questions or anything that I need to see, put it in caps for me, please. That would be great. Oh, thanks, Raul. This is inspired by our Calico Kate. And I'm just going to, yeah, I think I'm just going to scrape some of this on. Now, this is a different kind of um, surface. It's not... Uh, High, it's not high gloss. You can, you can hear the little, I don't know if you can hear it, the little, you know, it's like a textured, little textured thing there going on. So even though this is really going to be a workhorse and, um, hopefully a very useful journal i still want it to look cute so now i'm thinking hmm i wonder how it would look if i did a little um texture paste thing right here a little texture paste thingy right there right there so i'm going to look in my why not why not start to make a mess this is my little storage my envelope storage journal i call it a journal eh, not really a journal i guess but uh we made one the other day 
and I, I've shown it several times on my during my lives and such and I really it's, it's like my favorite thing it's my favorite thing and if Barbara were here she would be saying raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens all right I'm going to use this little Timmy stencil let me get my little pocket. This one I put some half pockets. These little Timmy stencils fit quite nicely. All right, so what do I, I think I want to glue my pocket down first. So let's try, this is just some, um, A golden matte medium that I keep to use as a glue and this little needle nose applicator so I'm just going down the one side and then across the bottom and I'm hoping this sticks well we'll see if not I'll have to do it again to use a different type of glue but I want to do that cute colander oh calendar i think yeah it is cute and i'm glad i i thought of i didn't think of it initially because um hey mini hobby kelly how are you nice to see you i'm going to use this journal for ideas calico kate and i put her um channel i didn't put i didn't put the video her last live because she did other stuff too but if you go to her last live part way through she shows us her idea journal and uh, when she sees something she likes you know she makes a note or she glues something in and she's got this wonderfully chubby journal made of a calendar folded in half um that's just chock full of a bunch of different ideas so I wanted I wanted to have one. So this is a Ranger product, a texture paste, and I'm gonna just because I you know you want them. Kathy's is just to die for. I mean she's got fabric in there. She's just got all kinds of jazz in there. It just looks amazing. So I think I want to put a little something something on here. Maybe a little. So I'm going to take some of this. So this isn't the best. This is not the best um, tool. Let's see if I've got a heavier. This one might be better. This could probably definitely use some water. I'm just going to push this through my stencil. And just give myself a little texture here. I don't want it to be too terribly thick because I'm going to use my uh, heat tool to set it because I want to be able to close the page. Now I'm going to trim up that edge, clean up that little edge. So I really haven't thought about what I'm going to pop in here. I haven't thought about that yet. I'll have to watch Kathy's live again. Get some more ideas. Now I'm going to take a baby wipe and clean my... The stents didn't, didn't get... I got it pushed through pretty well, so it doesn't get a whole lot... Okay, Ange is still here. She's recuperating, so keep Ange in your thoughts and prayers. She had a sister removed from her left hand yesterday. So she's at the beginning of her healing process. 
so it's tough for her to, you know, type. So she's, hey, Queen Bee, good morning. So she's hanging with us. She's just chilling. She's chilling. Okay. Clean that baby up. Now, I don't think this is going to take long. Oh, thank you, Queen Bee. That was very sweet of you. Thanks so much. You have a great day as well. Excuse my arm there. All right. So I've got um, just so at the top of the page, just a little bit. And then I just put some texture paste here. I'm using a heat tool. This is already dry this time. And she found it. Hello, hello. Got two Angie's in the house. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, I didn't think about using white gesso. Amber said she loves the stencil too. She used hers the other day and she put gesso through hers. I'm wondering how um, a little, um, you know, like I did in the in this little journal with the stencil. I did it before you guys arrived. You know, you use your oxide or your distress inks. I wonder how that would go on the surface. It's not totally, um, you know, it's it's like a semi-gloss. It's not a matte finish. Now, of course, some of these, probably quite a lot of them, are going to be a tip a tip out. So I'm thinking, wouldn't it be nice to have a whale's tail tab at the top of some of these pages that I could, you know, flip? Of course, now I could trim some of this. That might be fiddly, but I could cut right along the edge there let's do that let's just see how I mean it's going to be a working a working um, journal right Amber says she didn't have textured face but she likes using the gesso because you can build it up Oh, you know, I just really never thought about that. That's a great idea. Thank you for sharing that. Okay. Now I'm going to cut just across the bottom of this calendar box here. I'm not the best cutter. Normally I would like to do this kind of a cut in my trimmer, but my trimmer just doesn't accommodate that size. So it's a little wonkish. Here's Lisa. Good morning, Lisa. Oh, Lisa said add baking soda to gesso and it makes texture paste. Wonderful. Hey, Judy, good morning. Judy's already been out and run some errands. Candy said you can use uh, spackle, pre-mixed spackle. I've used spackle on some... Um, of my light bulb art stuff and for me it cracked so it might have been the, the brand spackle but i know um, a lot of uh, artisans use spackle and they're quite successful with it okay i'm going to use some of this cutaway part where i made the pocket and i'm going to cut out some some tails, some whale tails. Uh, let me see if I can get a little bit of the, a little bit of the flower in there. Ah, oh, Ange. I'm enjoying my mom. My mom came in to stay over for a few days. So we stopped and uh, had some Chick-fil-A on our way here yesterday. 
and uh, she got a milkshake. We shared some of their nuggets. And uh, I think there may be ice cream in our future, either today or tomorrow. Go get a little ice cream treat. She likes her ice cream. You know, for me, it will just be a sacrifice. You know, I have to sacrifice my, myself and make myself have ice cream because mom would like some. <laughs> All right, so I'm putting this little tab. Oops, kind of getting away from me. So I like things sticking out the top of my journals. Oops, it's a little wiggly. It's a little wiggly. And I love my needle nose glue container, but they do clog. So I always try to remember to put my. So now I can just flip to this page. Most of these, I think, will be tip outs. I'm wondering if I want to tear another one in half and um, make a pocket, a, a slide in pocket. You know what I mean? Let's see what page I might like to do that with. Oh, I love this page. Love it, love it, love it. See, some of them I started to fold different ways. I'm thinking this one. All right, I'm going to fold it. I folded it one way. I'm going to fold it this way and really try to crease it. I'm going to tear it. Didi, I think her surgery went pretty well. I'm not sure. She, I think she's having trouble typing on the keyboard. So I don't know. It might take her a little bit to, to answer you if she even sees the question. Uh, she said Keisha's going to update us tomorrow with her sale. All right. So now that's a little off. So I'm going to take my emery board and see if I can smooth that out just a little now I don't think I want my pocket right out to that edge so I'm gonna back her I'm gonna back her up I think I'm going to use this as a fold line. Oh, that was nice, Dee. Yeah, she mentioned. Yeah, I'm not sure if she went early. I was thinking about her yesterday, but I didn't know what time. And they seem to have a lot of stuff going on with a with a neighbor or something, and so she was on my mind. Now, I wasn't really thinking I was going to ink some of these edges, but see, now I have the, the raw edges. So, her fingers are very bruised. Oh, thanks, Candy. She went to the ER last night to check that the bandage was not too tight. Oh, okay. Well, that was, was good thinking. All right, so now I'm going to take my trusty little distress vintage photo. Let's see if I can get a little bit of um, color on that roll edge there. We'll go from there.
and uh, virtual craft vendors market will be on tomorrow i'm not sure the time but uh, if you check keisha's creations you can get more information there on youtube and uh, my stream today it's i'm inspired by calico kate if you go and watch her now i put her channel link in my description box i know aren't they amber yeah but i thought they might be a little too much for me to cut out for collage so i decided when kathy showed her calendar um her idea calendar journal i thought oh maybe i can use this one you know because i had already decided i wasn't going to tear uh, cut this one fussy cut this one for my collage stuff for some collage stuff yeah if you haven't watched diane fago you want to try to tune in and catch some of her uh, videos. I'm not sure if she's doing lives, um, but she was on. You can go back to the Lisa, my eclectic life's channel, and the two of them have uh, teamed up a few times. And um, Diane uses really big floral images sometimes, and they just look, they just look amazing on a page. So you might want to check that out. That's a fun fun watch for sure especially um her and lisa together lisa's quite talented herself and of course you know the queen of collage is our Didi. so so there's lots to lots to get inspired by folks right so i'm just gonna glue my ends and then across the bottom. So if I get any ideas or write anything down or see something or I want to tear something out of a magazine to use in a later project. See, I'm going to have some pockets in here. I can just pop it in my idea journal. There's plenty of space to write things in. I might add some paper i don't know if kath had some paper that um you know i could write like i can write right on the calendar no problem but like i said this is not a totally smooth surface so i'm, I'm not sure how that would go i could have put a little a little dibbity thing in there but i didn't think of it let's see i did have Oh, maybe how, how would this look? See, I just want it to be cute and pretty as well. I don't know if I like that or if I want something white or this is like an ecru color. Mm, I think I kind of like that one better. You could do really kathy has said i think she does all different i think she's got several different um where she just takes uh, a calendar and folds it in half and then goes from there you know maybe you could find a fairy calendar gd goes to um what is it books a million gd in february of every year and gets a great buy on calendars see if i had realized this before i was um i should have gotten it anyway but the images were so big and i couldn't re i couldn't think of how i would use it but um hobby lobby had on their clearance shelf i think for 450 a um okay so dd said it, it's books a million okay thanks um they had a Mary Engelbright. And I thought, well, what would I do with it? Because the images were so huge. But see, I, I didn't think. And I knew Kathy did this, you know, folding 
calendars in half to make journals. And the Mary Engelbright would have really been a cute one. Okay, so now I got a cute little pocket. I'm gonna trim. maybe I won't trim that. I might leave that there and dangle dangle something from there. Maybe a little bead or something. I know I have some bigger paper that I can probably maybe some ledger paper and make like a little tablet inside one of these. All right, I want to look at the cover. Smaller calendars, yeah, definitely. Use those for ephemera, absolutely. All right, so now the reason I cut the front rather than folding it, if you weren't here, I said because I have this nice little eyelet. This is a Lang calendar, and they're just so nice. And I wanted to dangle something from that eyelet. So if I folded it, it would have been inside on the crease. Now, I guess I could have, but see, then it, it just, I guess I could have gone that way. I didn't, okay? And then I cut it wrong. Hi, Angela. I haven't checked my email yet, Angela. I know you sent me a message and I haven't checked. All right, so I'm going to see. Oh, now this says pink. I might do the pink lace on the front. So I'm going to glue this just a little bit beyond because I want this to hang free and not hit the rest of my book. So, and I think I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac. And then I can make a pocket because I cut it wrong. So I'm going to put glue here. I think I better mark this. I better mark it. Mark it, mark it, mark it. So let me find a pencil. Hmm. I don't want it out too. I just want it to clear. All right. Welcome back, Gail. I want it to clear. Just clear that little. So I want to know where to put my glue. There. I don't want glue beyond there. And I am going to put some lace or something down. So I don't really need to worry about this too much. But I'll just hit this with a little bit of. And put my little glue lid back on my needle nose. There we go. Put this up here. So what I want to do is line this up, put my glue there. Oh my gosh, I marked in the wrong spot. Like so silly, so silly. Okay. And so I'm gonna come across the bottom of this and then I'm gonna glue there and there. So I'm gonna put glue at the top. So this is going to make a pocket on the inside. And down here. It's funny, my husband put put uh, my stream on the TV for my mom in the living room. And I can kind of hear me. <laughs> and I'm a little bit, you know, how it's always behind a little bit, a little bit of lying. <laughs> Okay. All right, so I like to line that up a little bit and press that down. 
See, and I wanted this for my cover too because I thought it was so pretty. See, now I'm thinking this pink. Um, Keisha's last, um, well, she had a little <clears throat> thing going with her channel where, you know, you can earn punches and stuff and you earn little things and little different little levels. And uh, she was gracious enough when she changed um, what direction she was going with that. She, uh, she bumped bump some of us up so we could get our our little reward and um this lace was part of my my deal it's just beautiful it's so soft <sighs> okay lisa so i'm gonna put some of this here i think that will just look darling And then I'll leave a little more hanging out the bottom and I can just decide if I want to do something with it. And if not, then I can just trim it off. So I'm going to use my fabric tack for that as well. And I want to make sure. Um, okay, so just in that whole big square spot. Oh, Candy, I can find one for you, but it'll be very expensive. Depends on what you're willing to pay for them. Because they're out there. But they're like, um, most people are asking like $80 or more for them. It's a very rare occasion. I sent... Um, I thought I had sent Zena a link a while ago where one was very reasonable, but I don't know if she ever, uh, you know, looked into that one. I think it was a whale's tail. Might have been something else. It's not too often anymore you get, you luck into if somebody that doesn't know what they have, you know. And, um. I am glad I was able to find mine when I did because I got mine for a very reasonable price. All right, Gil says her PT doctor says she's doing great and she's ahead of typical recovery. Oh, Gil, that's wonderful news. Good for you. Good for you. Good to hear. Okay, so that doesn't look too bad, huh? And then I've got a pocket. I've got a pocket. And I think I want to put, see, if I put a whale's tail thing here on one of these, I won't be able to open it up. So I think I might put a tab where I have my, my pocket going this way uh, Angela says it's great I held on to my cane yeah yeah keeping the cane nearby is a good idea good idea you will Gail Oh, that's wonderful. She's going to be able to drive next Tuesday. That's great. You are doing great. Okay, so I'm going to use some of my extra bits here. This is pretty, isn't it? Let's see if I can get a punch out of that. What did I do with my punch? Here we go. All right, this will be pretty. Let's 
So I'm going to glue that right on there like that. And I'm sure we'll get really good reports from our Angie too when her hand starts to heal and she gets over the initial. Angie, did you just have um, knee replacement as well? Oh, I should say Angela. Oh, no, Angie. Angie said it. Oh, you did candy? Hmm. They can't help you with the floaters, huh? But Angela, you're saying how much people are asking for a punch like this? Is that what you're asking? Yeah. These are anywhere from, if you see one for less than 80 bucks, it's a steal. Usually 80 is a starting price. Up over a hundred bucks. Yeah, I guess so. My neighbor had some floaters, but she had some some kind of um, procedure done. Oh yeah, eighty dollars easy. Yeah. Okay, and she said, "Oh, I didn't mean to ask anything personal, honey. You were just saying." Oh, I see. Okay. I thought maybe you were doing a knee thing too. All right. So this is a flip out. I wanted that to be in a little bit so I can write in there if I want to. And I can I can work on this as I go too and save things, right? Put things in. Now I have to come up with some ideas for in here. It might be cute to have, like, say, um, little strings or something here where I could pull these, pull this open. What would that be? Let's see. I've got some little pieces of, oh, that might not be so great. Let's see. Let's see if it's got a bunch of jazz here. Got a bunch of jazz here, kids. I just had a little tiny thin piece of lacy. Oh, here's, yeah, this is real skinny. I got lots of this. Okay, let's try this. Yeah, I think so too. Well, this is probably made by China. Paper shapers. It's got a patent number on it. I thought this was an EK EK punch something or other. I don't know. But if you put in whale's tail tab punch, it, they'll come up. And there really are plenty of them available. It's just that people want a lot of money for it. Sometimes they look on McCary. I don't know if everybody knows about that McCary site it's like an e like an ebay or kind of a site and um sometimes i hate to say it but sometimes folks there don't really know what they have or whatever or what somebody might be willing to pay for it and then i look at the date if sometimes they'll have a date listed you know, like how long they've had it listed. So sometimes you might be able to, even though it'll say make an offer and then it doesn't accept the amount you put in. Sometimes if you ask people, um, just send them a message. Sometimes they'll consider a different offer. Uh -huh. I guess a lot of us have a love-hate relationship with a lot of our things. Yeah, it's a Stampin' Up, is it, Leah? Okay, thanks. 
Look at the end of it. Okay, honey, wait a minute. I'll look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Duh. Stampin' up right there. Thanks. I forgot it was a stampin' up. All right. So I think that might be. Oh, I've got to do my back cover. Got to do the back. Okay. So this is the right way up. Now, this I'm going to just make it out to the edge. Now, see, over. I got over, over anxious and I tore. And see, this is where it didn't fit. It went beyond my paper trimmer. So I've got a couple of punches there. So let's see. If I go this way, bring this right to the edge as much as I can. I don't want to go around the bend. You know what I mean? I don't want to go around the bend. So I got a little divot there. All right, so I'm going to make a mark. I'm going to make a mark here. I want glue past there or past here. And again, that can be a pocket. Then I'm going to need something to cover up. Um... Okay, Janice, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you being here. You have a great day. What is 2,000 pounds? I missed it. Hmm. You know, when people say, well, you know, why would somebody ever pay that much for a paper punch? Well, we all have our things, right? And some of us, if you can afford it and it's important to you, then you can, you know, I don't judge anybody. I mean, that's, hey, if I could. Not that I can't afford it. Okay, I could afford it. But, you know, some things you just have to say, okay, I can afford that. But it's just just as silly. But, see, I would I would have no problem dropping a thousand bucks on a handbag. I, I mean, I just, you know, I wouldn't. We all have our things. Oh, exercising. Oh, if, ooh. Yeah, Gail's been doing great with her diet. I can't seem to get my act together and get myself back at one track. I mean, you really need to do it. There's Ange. Okay, she's going to go lay down. All right, sweetie, take it easy and make sure you're doing what the doc says. Okay, Ange? I'll check in with you tomorrow. Thanks for popping in. I was thinking on you, wondering how you were doing. Okay, so I want to go here and then all the way across the bottom. So I'm going to go with the top. Across the bottom here. And the bottom or backside edge of this calendar page. And then I'm thinking, because I've messed up that one end, you know, at this point, I'm thinking, like, you know, I'm just making it cute. I want to make it cute. Functional and cute. F and C. Functional and cute. Now, I've measured that. Okay. So, I think I'm going to wrap a piece of fabric around this and down here where I chunk a chunk a. And I'm going to put another piece of lace because Keisha was so gracious and generous. She's given me plenty of this adorable pink lace. So I'm going to use this. Right here like that. And uh, let's see, I'm just, I'll just do the edge here. All right.
I can always trim that on the bottom if I want. All right, now I want to put a cute little piece of fabric, I think, around here. See how I made that little tear because I was over anxious. I've got little puncture marks there. The puncture marks I had up here, see my lace kind of camouflaged that. Oh, look how crooked I got that. Well, it doesn't look crooked from here, but it looks, well, it's the back. Let it go, let it go. Do -do 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 -do. So let me find a piece of something very cute to put on the little bed or right there. Oh, let's see. I don't know if I have anything or not. Oh, this might work. I have some Debbie Mum fabric. So maybe a little tear of this. Kitty Jen said, I like the bird on the paper. Did you add that or did it come like that? With It's a calendar, Jen. And so, yeah, these are all, it's a hummingbird calendar. So that little guy was already on there. And there really are, they are throughout the, the calendar. See, there's one, there's another one. But see, they're calendar pages. It's a big wall calendar. It measures, I think, 19 by 12, something like that, I think. Yeah. So he was there. Who's Keisha? Uh, I don't know. Gail, are you able to put in a, uh, a link for Keisha? Keisha's Creations is a channel on YouTube, and she does live sales on her channel. And she's got a lot of different vendors that work with her. And, uh, you know, even if you don't want to shop or are not able to shop, go. you can go in, chat with some ladies. Um, a lot of times we get giggling. Thanks, Gail. And, um you get a lot of ideas too you know i didn't shop this last time um but yeah she does giveaways and they play games and they get out the book ask questions from the book not a fan of the book okay Thank you. So there you can find her there, Angela. And then when you go in, just tell her that we sent you. Say hi. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, virtual craft vendors market. No, no, I'm going to try to. Um, I'm not with the market anymore. It was. Um, I just needed to concentrate on my channel and I've, I, I really haven't been selling anywhere. Not even, I left my co-op and I just needed to make some changes for me. And, um, but I do have some things I want to get in my Etsy shop. So I'm hoping to do a show and sell. So I'm hoping to maybe do that in a week or two before I start loading stuff back into my Etsy shop. I've been so dragging my feet. I closed my shop when I went to Europe. That was the end of 2021. <laughs> and I haven't opened it up. So that's, that's the plan anyway. So there you go. Gail put her channel in. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Go at your own risk. And keep track. Calico Kate just did her haul. You can see some of the goodies she got this last time. But, you know, it is it is a good idea to write stuff down. Because, you know what? I don't either. And then I'm like, did I? Oh, yeah. All right, I think I want a couple more tabs. I think I want another I think I want another pocket like this. But where do I forgot it? Forgot the pocket there. 
Now I've got to start filling. Oh boy, that's pretty too, right? Mm -hmm. There's I put the strings on. Oh, that's a pretty page. Okay, this one I don't want. Be this one I probably am going to glue shut. Okay, Gail. Geez, thanks for coming back. Appreciate that. Thanks for your help today. You have a great day, Gail. Keep on keeping on. You're doing great. All right, let's see here. Um, Hmm. Well, this would be different if I did it this way. And then I could write on the pocket. And I've got the line right there. Maybe I'll just try to cut this one. Let's just see how I make it out. Instead of using that, I'm not too good with the wheel. I'm not too good with the wheelie thing. So I'm going to come in and cut. Oop, just went crooked. Maybe I'll make my little divot right there. How will that be? All right. Put a little color on this. All right, I'm going to cut myself a, punch myself a little divot. Maybe I'll ink that too. So I can see that really well. Now, Dee Dee has what she calls, um, I don't know if I'll get it right. Um, oh, geez. Society of Idea Collectors. And she encourages us to keep a notebook. I'm not very good at it. And that's a shame on me. I'm doing better. I just started a desk journal where I can write down ideas or things I see um, that I want to try or, you know, whatever. But she does mind mapping and all that. And just you can just get like a, a composition book, you know, and uh, keep those ideas with and keep it handy where you can write things in or post it notes, you know, where you can just write down an idea and then and it's out of your head. It's written down, you know. So this is a very shallow pocket, but that's okay. The other one's probably shallow as well. Now I gotta hang something from here. I don't know what I'm gonna hang from there. All right, so now I gotta think about some ideas. I mean, I can always add pockets. I can always come back and trim some of these and do whatever. But I wanna start popping some things in here perhaps. Okay, now let me just see. I usually stuff a lot of different things by my desk here. Let's see if I've got anything that I can. Uh, okay, so here's one thing. All right, so my friend and neighbor Betty. She is, lived in Florida for a while, originally from Pennsylvania, went to Florida, came back, lived in Bethlehem, PA, and 
uh, has a good friend there. Uh, but her, her name is Uta, and she is originally from Germany. And Uta is able to fold these stars. I've tried a couple of times. So far, I have not been successful. But Uta sent this to me. Um because Betty and I have been to her home, we've had lunch, you know, and um, she knew I really like these and she knows that I'm into art. So she sent me this. So see, this is something I want to keep. I just have it sitting here by my desk, just plopped somewhere. But see, now I can pop this in here. Look how nicely that fits in there because I don't want to lose this because at some point I'm going to conquer this challenge i haven't yet but they're just absolutely beautiful and the, the way they fit together is just amazing so i've got that okay so that's in my idea journal and sometimes i just keep popping things over here to the side that i want to do Uh, let's, I don't know if this, yeah, these are two. Well, I wonder if they could, I don't care if they stick out, really. These are little drawings I did inspired by um, Tamara Laporte. And I had them framed, and I was going to try to sell them, but, you know, no, but they didn't sell. This is all still sticky here, so I have that there. So now I'm thinking I want to trim these and make a journal of some kind, but I, I just don't know yet. So I wonder if I can fit these in this pocket. No, they'll stick out too far. I wonder if I should just go ahead and, yeah. I like to get these in here. So I'm thinking about just cutting these. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I did the ladybug the dragonfly. I hate to cut them, but they're not being used. You know what I mean? Praya mantis. The bumblebee. Le bumblebee. A grasshopper. And the butterfly. So maybe if I hmm. see and they're on heavier paper. I could just clip them. They would stick out too far. If I cut them in half. Hmm, I gotta think about that. Not sure what I want. Not sure about that one yet. You can make a bug journal, yeah, and add other bugs. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah, they were fun to do. I could add some more to them, too. They could use, I think, a little more uh, stamping or whatever. I was early on when I started to make some things in that way. I've got a lot of stuff here, but I don't know. These were the backings for something that I. Yeah, I was just thinking about that, Shaz. You know, that's also a good. I think they might be a little harder to fold, but I could probably do um, put them in my, you know, like my. Um, Okay, Lisa, enjoy the rest of your day as well. Thanks for coming in. Um, if I fold them, then you kind of lose. Maybe I could fold them this way, but you're still going to lose. I don't know. I don't know. If I can make them talk, I don't know. Or if I bind them this way, see, then I got the whole, got the whole bug. Maybe I could just, oh, maybe I could do like that Japanese stab binding and add other pages. 
Angela said, please don't cut them. Yeah, maybe I'll do just, you know, find them this way and then just add other pages in between. See, because the backs are nasty. This one I have to clean off. See, I had them all. Um, not sure what to do about that. It's that um, the dry tape. You know, maybe if I just rub my finger, I can get most of it. Oh, look at that. Most of it's coming off like a little a little booger dot thing. Mm. All right, so I think I'm going to wrap this up, guys, okay? Mama's here. I'm going to see if she needs something for lunch. And uh, so you get the gist. Paint the back white. That's an idea, too. Or I could just re... I, oh, you know what I could do, guys? I could I could mount it on, like, um, a manila folder. And then I could do more art on the back or just some pretty. Um, I just don't think if I put just these pages, you know, binding them together, because the thing with the stab binding, the Japanese stab binding, like it's hard to open the page if these are stiff. So if I pre crease these on uh, like my scoreboard. You know, that might be better. Because I do really like them. You know. We'll see. That's a work in progress. So I guess I'm, I'm going to wrap this up. This is another idea here. But see, all this stuff's not going to fit in here. This is something I started um, inspired by uh, G. Kerr. I know a lot of you know G. Kerr. But see, that won't fit in there, too. See, I want to get back to... I want to get back to some of this stuff. Oh, using rings. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have those small Tim Holtz rings. I just have a hard time opening them. Hey, there's Judy. Yeah, I do. And I have smaller ones. The Tim Holtz ones are smaller ones. That's a good idea, ladies. Yeah, yeah. It's a good idea. Oh, like the Happy Planner, Judy. Yeah, I have those too. There's some good ideas, ladies. Thank you. I'm glad I didn't cut them. I was getting ready to put them right on the right on the trimmer. Okay, so a couple things for you to remember, if you would. I won't be on Sunday. I may do a pop pop on sometime Saturday, and because uh, it's Mother's Day and uh, we've got some plans, so I'm going to spend time with the fam. And um, this idea journal made from a calendar is inspired by Calico Kate. So I've got her information in my description box. And thank you, Amber. Uh, thanks for being here and my mods that helped me out today. Thank you so much. And uh, we've got Keisha coming up tomorrow with the virtual craft vendors market. It's Thursday. Beth will be on later. I think PM Studios, or they're, they're probably on now. Uh, it's not the third Thursday, though, right? Third Thursday is Jamie. But this is only the second. This is only the second Thursday. So next week is Jamie, right? No, the disc bound planner, yes, you can take pages out and put them in easily. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the happy planner. Yeah, I do have those. But see, the, the, the um, papers that aren't so thick pull out of those better. So I'm not sure about that. So thanks again for joining me. Is there anything else I need to tell you? I don't think so. So I started out and I did a page in my little chunky collage book inspired by Lisa Conway and Diane Fago. And then this one, and uh, I'm going to have fun gluing stuff in and adding things into this, especially when I'm working through my 
desk and come up with something and think, oh, I don't know where, oh, I'll put that in my idea journal. Make sure you check Kath's um, live from this week. I think it was this week, Tuesday, um, partway through her live, she showed us her idea journal. Oh, and it's just stuffed with really great things. So I'm going to make sure I look at that again. Um, Kitty Jen says, you can make a bigger cover too and put a bug drawing in and you wouldn't have to cut them at all. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Thanks so much for your ideas. All right. Yeah, it was great being here. Thanks for coming in. All right, ladies, I'm going to let you go see what my mama needs. I'm getting hungry for some lunch. I'm sure she might be too. So. There's Kathy. Hi, Kath. Have your ears been ringing, friend? <laughs> this is my um, idea journal, Kath, from a calendar inspired by you. So I'm going to go back and watch your video again. So, all right. So I'm out. Out like a trout. I'll see you next time. Maybe, maybe an impromptu on Saturday. We'll see uh, what mom and I are up to, and I might be able to do that. So, in the meantime, take time to be creative. Enjoy the journey. And I hope to see you all soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.